Hello and welcome to my Let's Play Minecraft series, Rocket World, episode number 58. Last episode we made a huge amount of progress with the base extension and it's nearly complete ready for planting. But we need to head into the nether to do a lot of mining to complete that project. But first I want to talk a little bit about concrete. Last episode I built a concrete farm and it works really nicely, but I'm not entirely convinced it's faster than the previous farm I had. So I'm going to do a test. I got two stacks of concrete powder, not pork chops, <laughs> two stacks of concrete powder, and I'm going to test them out now and see how they go. I'm really glad that I built that concrete machine last uh, episode. Well, um, I don't know. Anyway, I think I could have probably been pushing the concrete powder out a bit quicker in the concrete machine. Um, it might have been speeded up a little bit, but it seems like the other one was so much faster. And I've not even got swift sneak on any trousers, so I could have done the underwater one even faster. Even with a beacon, I could have mined it faster as well. So... Hmm, yeah, I'm not sure what I'll do with those yet, but uh, we'll see. Now, I've been doing some work on the pathways here, and I've hit a problem, and that is a lack of quartz. So I need to go to the nether and get some more quartz, because I need to build some pathways around here as well, possibly coming along here, and then round over here like that as well, and the same on the other side. So I definitely need a bit more quartz, well, a lot more quartz, but there's another thing I need in the nether as well. Now we've got the 1.20 update coming soon, and that means the recipe for doing netherite armour will be changing slightly. We'll have to use a smithing template to upgrade our netherite armour to netherite. So I figure my backup armour here, I'll change it to netherite now, and that way I won't have to worry too much about the smithing templates uh, unless I create new armour and things like that. So two things to do, I'm going to go and get ready and head into the nether. Okay I'm ready to go so let's go and get some ancient debris, hopefully find a little bit of quartz along the way, well a lot of quartz along the way. Straight off. Hmm, having a bit of luck here. No quartz, but another couple of bits of ancient debris. Okay, now we've got a couple of bits of uh, quartz here, so that's good news. Collect all that good stuff up. Uh, this ancient debris is going to be pretty difficult to get to. <laughs> Look at this lava outflow. Can I jump up here? Yes, I can. I'll get across to this to stop it. Where is it? Is it there? Yes it is. Oh that's good. Right, save the day. Right, but that was a busy, great big lava flow. Ah, uh, the bed must have blown up on this black stone, not made much of a dent. Right, there we go, but I got there in the end. Right, let's get rid of these. And yes, more ancient debris. I think what we'll do to speed this all up is just show the explosions.
you're dying to find out just what we got on that little mining session in the nether. So let's have a look. Right, loads and loads of lovely quartz. I picked up just over a stack of ancient debris, loads of the nether gold ore and blackstone. Never goes amiss. So lots of lovely stuff. I'm going to get all of this nether quartz ore all mined down and see how much we get. It's probably not going to be very much after all of that. But let's have a go and see what we get. Okay, we started off with ten and a half stacks of quartz ore, and we've now got five and a half, well, five and three quarter stacks of quartz blocks. So uh, that's a bit more than I thought we'd get, which is nice. So that's going to keep us going for a while. Now I've been mining in the Nether for so long that I should be able to get a whole load of phantoms spawning because I haven't slept for a long time. So I'm going to head over now to my phantom killing area, and we'll see what we can do. Now I've got my little kitty cat down here and he is repelling the phantoms when they come in, like this one here, and they just plop up here on this little glass ceiling. Oh, I get them with a bit of looting and pick up any drops, of which there are none. <laughs> well, um, maybe we get a few more. But uh, yeah, that's the system. So that is just far enough away to let the phantoms in but just close enough that they can't stand being anywhere other than about here going up underneath these walls so let's see how we get on we can see the um, gold farm from over here that's nice here we go again be careful i don't break the glass ceiling oh and there's another coming we're up to eight at the moment for the phantom wing men brains so that's pretty good another, another couple that's good we're doing all right oh and another another two brilliant and another one sixteen that's really good that was pretty good. We got 23 phantom wing membranes in the end, so that was a good evening spent. So I'm going to head back to base now and we'll carry on. Now, while I've been doing all these things, I have managed to amass an insane amount of levels. So I am going to go and spend them all now. As you can see, I've got 30 books and I'm going to go and do a little bit of enchanting and the enchanting room is just over here in our original starter base. So I shall let you know when we've done that. Okay, that is all done now and I have enchanted 10 books and upgraded a whole load of tools and things like that. And that's taken me from level 70 down to level 20. So it's a drop of 50 levels, which is what allows me to change back a damage level on my skin. So let's do that now. There we go, that's much better. Now in future I think I'm, instead of spending 50 levels I'm probably going to set it to 40 levels because doing it in games like Guild Rock where I don't have quite so many resources it is really difficult to get those 50 levels. So I think 40 is a little bit fairer to see us go up and down the damage level skins. So that's what we're going to do in the future and that pretty much brings us to the end of this episode. Thank you all for watching today and I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Please leave a like and don't forget to comment. If you want to see more on a regular basis then consider subscribing so you don't miss out. We're really close to 300 subs now so let's see if we can get there really soon. I look forward to seeing you all in the next episode so have fun and see you later.